Mountain Blade 2 Banner Lord. I've been playing it since Mountain Blade 1, back whenever there was a website for digital downloads called Direct to Drive. I've been playing a very long time. My Steam hours are incredibly high. What I played outside of Steam, also incredibly high. It's going to be great to finally be able to play the game, even though it's going to be an early access. And I want to give a bit of an informational update about my channel and Banner Lord. So, as we all know, everyone is going to be playing it. Every channel is going to be covering it, but I still want to play it myself. I understand that, and that is completely fine. If I had early access, I would have done something a bit more involved. I had planned out a cinematic introduction, or at least more of a narrative one. As many of you know, as you've been watching my channel videos, I've been doing a lot more storytelling and things like that because it's what I love. It really brings me a spark of joy in my life. But unfortunately, I will not be getting early access to the game, which means I can't really prepare anything profound that I would like to do. So I will do my best. It might still get me to where I'll want to do something at least, but the idea for me is that I'm gonna have a character who's a little bit disillusioned by the fragmenting of the empire and perhaps wants to rebuild it. And maybe one day would like to accumulate enough power to say, I am the Senate. But we shall see in time. I will one day hope to become a cataphract. And we'll see how that all plays out and goes, but it will be a long running part of my channel. As many of you know too, I've played countless Warband mods just consistently. I'm going to be very happy to have new sieges. I'm going to be very happy to just have new AI and whatever else that we can engage with. So it will be on my channel probably a few hours after launch because again, I'll be getting it when all of you get it. So I'll be waking up early, um, which is fine because I usually wake up at four in the morning to begin recording. And that's why a lot of you get videos pretty early on in the day. And, uh, that's really it, folks. That's really it. So, I want to thank you for keeping up with my channel. We've had a bunch of tremendous growth. We've had... I, I've been a lot more consistent. And I've really enjoyed my channel quite a bit since I've changed things up. I just... It's it's hard, for, it's, it's, it's hard for me to want to do, like, standard Let's Plays. I can't really do that anymore. There has to be some type of, like, different goal or in-game in my head. So... Even if I don't get it out for the first part for some manner of storytelling, we can consider that to be like character creation and the initial point of our campaign. Then maybe for part two, I'll have a little type of cinematic part one to always get more views, but you get my point. But we shall see. Because like my other idea was to potentially do a narrative overview where I kind of like give a first person perspective of my character's life. So you'll get like gameplay footage in the very beginning. And then maybe my voice over the character creation process or i could just do it normally and be like hello everyone welcome back blah blah and just kind of go over the character creation process but again because the game will be out i don't feel like i have to be as informational if that makes sense because all of you can play it too or most of you can i mean there are some who cannot so maybe that would be better for them but i mean it's pretty straightforward um i have not really been kept in the loop about the PR side of things because I don't like to keep track of PR, which is hilarious because of what I do. But I like to play any DLC or game and I like to be surprised. Now, on that note, I do like to learn how to play it before I get into it. Thankfully, from what I understand, the, the core gameplay is fundamentally the same. So there's not a lot for me to really catch up on, but I'm looking forward to it. I think it'll be fun. Now, they did shift the time to March 30th, which means that'll be tomorrow. And it'll be coming out for me at 6 in the morning. Again, I'll probably be up at like 4 or 5, having my coffee, drinking some water, maybe having a little bit of food, some bacon or something. But, um, yeah, not every feature is going to be in. They make a statement about that in like their little earlier access announcement where they're like hey look not every feature is going to be here i have no idea what to expect um as usual you'll only get my unfiltered honest opinion on things um and that's really it folks i mean it's going to be an early access i don't know for how long maybe a year and there's already incredible mods being worked on so uh, my big thing is if the mod doesn't crash i'll give it a go if it does eh, i'm not really in 
for a ride there. I remember back in the day I played The Last Days when it first came out. My god, that was a nightmarish experience. Later it became like one of the most stable and awesome mods that I played countless times. And I really hope we get to see some cool stuff like Kingdom of Arda for Lord of the Rings. But that's really it for me. I just wanted to give all of you an update about what we're playing, which is going to be the Northern Empire, it seems. I hope all of you are fine with that. And don't worry, there will be future factions. Because, I mean, unlike when I came to YouTube, I had already played Mountain Blade for so many years, I had no interest in playing vanilla factions, so we played mods a lot. But, hey, look, it's new here. I think it'll be fun. And, uh, yeah, so thank you for watching. And as always, until then, until tomorrow.